one. Melania has post nuked. As surely any red blooded American man could tell you, Melania Trump has post nuked and her suggestive images are at your fingertips with just a simple Google search. In 2000, the 29 year old model posed on then boyfriend Donald Trump's private jet. On a rug. Naked. And handsy too. Melania is an immigrant. Melania Trump is an immigrant born in Nevs, in Seneca, Yugoslavia, now Slovenia, and became a naturalized citizen in 2006. Mrs. Trump moved to New York 20 years ago, reports CNN. The Slovenian born model married Trump in 2005 and became a citizen the following year, a decade after moving to the United States. Trump's first wife, Ivana, was an immigrant as well. Ivana was born in Czechoslovakia. 3. Melania is okay with married men hitting on her. While Trump was still technically married to wife number 2, a 52 year old Donald set his sights on 28 year old Melania at Manhattan's Kit Cod Club. He asked for her number, supposedly, Melania took his number instead and the two began dating a few months later. Here's how their mostly muted love at first sight interaction went down, I saw Melania and I said, who is that? She was a very successful model. She was terrific. I tried to get her number, and she wouldn't give it to me. Melania continued the story, he came to the party with a date. I had heard he was a ladies man, and so I said, I'm not one of the ladies. He said later that he sent her to the ladies room so he could get my number. I was like, oh, what a sneaky way. Melania told People magazine she liked Trump's sparkle and took his number. For Melania is very political, but only at home. Melania Trump has been conspicuously absent from primary 2016. The model has steered clear of public speeches or comments on the campaign trail save one awkward encounter after the Donald's South Carolina primary victory where Melania told that crowd, Good evening, isn't he the best? He will be the best president ever. We love you. Here's that enormously painful 22nd interaction, Melania has rationalized her absence from the trail, I don't discuss politics. That's my husband's job. I leave that to him. I am very political. I'm not political in public. I'm political at home. 5. Melania is seemingly business-minded like her husband. Fame Focus reports, aside from modeling, Melania has also tried her hand in fashion design and skin care. She launched her watch and jewelry collection, Melania Trademark Time Pieces and Jewelry, in 2010 on QVC. In 2013, the Slovenian Beauty debuted a skin care line, Melania Caviar Complexi C6, which she promoted on The Celebrity Apprentice and The View. 6. Melania Speaks Five Languages. Sort of. According to The Week, Melania speaks Slovenian, English, French, Serbian and German. Very impressive indeed, but, of course, hearing Melania struggle with English publicly would make one surmise that the beauty is not exactly fluent in all these listed languages. 7. Melania isn't shy about speaking about her sex life publicly. In 2000, Melania told shock jock and longtime friend of her husband's Howard Stern, that she and Donald have incredible sex at least once a day. Sometimes even more. 8. Melania dabbles in philanthropy. Melania says her main job is staying home and raising her son Baron, but she also has a heart for giving. The Slovenian born beauty has been associated with the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, active with the Police Athletic League, an honorary chairwoman for the Boys Club of New York for the past five years, and in 2005, she was awarded the title of Goodwill Ambassador by the American Red Cross. Reports Fame Focus 9. Melania signed a prenuptial agreement before marrying the Donald. Melania signed one of Donald's notoriously ironclad prenups before the two Wednesday per New York magazine. Here's Trump's eloquent language about him and Melania signing the prenup. It's a hard, painful, ugly tool, said Trump. Believe me, there's nothing fun about it. But there comes a time when you have to say, Darling, I think you're magnificent, and I cared for you deeply, but if things don't work out, this is what you're going to get. Trump added that the prenup is like a crystal ball. If a couple can make it through the cold, so bring legal process and still manage to be on speaking terms at the wedding, the marriage has a chance. If not, it was never meant to be. 10. Melania is not a nagging wife. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, 
Melania said that she is not a nagging wife and doesn't mind that Donald only speaks English. Melania says she is teaching her son to speak Slovenian as well. He speaks English. That's it. And that's okay, said Melania. I'm not that kind of wife who would say, learn this or learn that. I'm not a nagging wife. 11. Melania is Donald's third wife. The former Melania now started dating Donald Trump in 1998, married him in 2005 and gave birth to their son, Barron, the following year. Before Melania, Donald was married for a few years in the 1990s to Martha Maples, a television personality, former beauty queen and mother to their daughter Tiffany Trump. The couple met while the businessman was still with his first wife, Czechoslovakian Ivana Zelnikova, who he had married in 1977. They have three children, Ivanka, Eric and eldest child Donald Trump Jr., who, at 38, is eight years younger than his stepmother Melania. Ivana and Donald were leading socialites in New York during the 1980s, but their marriage ended with a very public divorce in 1992. Absolutely fabulous star Jennifer Saunders says some of the inspiration for the show's fashionista Patsy Stone, played by Joanna Lumley, came from Ivana, who often sports a high blonde beehive. 12. The Clintons went to her wedding bill and Hillary Clinton were among the 350 guests when Melania and Donald tied the knot at the groom's landmark March A. Lago Estate in Palm Beach, Florida. According to GQ, the bride wore a $100,000 Dior dress with 1,500 crystals, which took a legendary 550 hours to make. It had a 13-4 train and the bride wore a 16-4 veil. However, the gown was so difficult to walk in that Melania changed into a Vera one hand ruched silk tulle Grecian dress for the poolside after party. Her 12 carat emerald cut profit wedding ring is said to be worth pounds 1.5 m. Melania's sister, Ines, was the maid of honor and Donald's two sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, served as best men. Guests including Heidi Klum, Barbara Walters and Simon Cowell flirt caviar and crystal in the shadow of a five-foot-tall Grand Marnie for wedding cake says GQ, while the Hollywood Reporter says the seventh-year chef Turva weighed more than 200 LDS. 13. She grew up in communist Yugoslavia and speaks five languages Slovenian, English, French, Serbian and German. If you want to know, that linguistic prowess could come in handy at White House functions, but it has been suggested her thick accent is the reason she makes few public speeches alongside her immigrant bashing husband. Melania was raised away from the glamour of New York high society in a concrete tower block in then Yugoslavia during the rule of Marshal Josip Tito. Now that her husband has become president, Melania is said to become the first first lady to be born in a communist nation and only the second to be born abroad. After Louisa Adams, the English wife of 6th President John Quincy, who served from 1825 to 1829. 14. She has a secret half-brother while preparing a profile of the incoming First Lady for GQ, reporter Julia Iotha made a startling discovery. Melania's father, Victor Nuss, who she describes as traditional and hardworking, fathered a secret son before marrying the model mother. Nuss agreed to pay child support after a court battle proved he was Dennis Sigel, Jack's father, the claim he initially contested, but he has never contacted his son nor acknowledged his existence. Now aged 50, Sigel, Jack still lives in the family's native Slovenia. Melania initially said the reports were false but later, confronted with court documents, claimed she had misunderstood the question and had known about her half-brother for years. 15. She is the only first lady to have post nude three years before she met Donald Trump. Melania post nude alongside for a French men's monthly magazine. The bombshell photo set, obtained by the New York Post, shows her lying naked in a bed alongside Scandinavian model Emma Erickson. Photographer Jarl Hale D. Bassafil, who took the pictures, says the images are beauty and not porn, adding, I always loved women together because I have been with a lot of women who desired the menage a trois. An unnamed insider said Melania behaved like a true professional during the shoot and was charming throughout. Donald, meanwhile, said, in Europe, pictures like this are very fashionable and common. 16. She is the least popular presidential spouse since Hillary according to a Washington Post slash ABC News poll. Melania is the least popular presidential candidate spouse since Hillary Clinton. A survey on the spouses and running mates of both presidential candidates saw Clinton's husband former President Bill, named most popular, 
with more than half of respondents having a positive opinion of him. Clinton's prospective vice president, Tim Kaine, was next with a net favorability rating, those viewing him positively minus those viewing him negatively, of plus 19. Republican Mike Pence came in third, with plus 17, and Melania languished in last place, getting a net favorability rating of just plus 1. Melania Trump's popularity is lower than nearly any other recent candidate's spout during an election year, the National Post says. The most popular spouse was Barbara Bush, George H.W. Bush's wife. Michelle Obama was also viewed fairly positively at about this stage of 2012, though a little worse for years earlier, when she wasn't as well known. 17. She supports her husband's hardline stance on immigration although it's not surprising for a candidate's wife to back her husband's policies. Some were taken aback by Melania's enthusiasm for the Republicans' tough rhetoric on migrants, having immigrated to the U.S. herself. I follow the law, she told an MSNBC interviewer. I never thought to stay here without papers. She was equally unfazed when pressed about Donald's comments on criminals crossing the border into the U.S. I don't feel he insulted the Mexicans, she said. He said illegal immigrants. 18. But she does wish Donald would act more presidential during a rally in Arizona, Donald told the crowd both his wife and his eldest daughter, Ivanka, don't entirely approve of his behavior. My wife and my daughter said to me, act presidential. Act presidential, he said. Melania insists she isn't shy when it comes to giving her husband political advice. I give him my opinions, many, many times, she told CNN. I don't agree with everything that he says but, you know, that is normal, she added. I'm my own person, I tell him what I think. I'm standing very strong on the ground on my two feet and I'm my own person. And I think that's very important in the relationship. Asked what habit she would like to see her husband give up, Melania didn't have to ponder her answer for long. The tweeting, she said. On her own Twitter account, Melania mostly sticks to the blandest of updates. The New York skyline features heavily, as do photos of food and fashion, alongside a few innocuous snaps from the campaign trail. 19. She is raising her son as little Donald 10-year-old Barrett apparently loves wearing a suit and tie and playing golf with his dad. He is also said to share his father's love of bossing people around. He fired nannies, fired housekeepers, Melania said in a 2011 interview, adding that he quickly hired them back. Barrett is closer in age to his nephews and nieces than his own siblings and spends more time with his mother because of his father's busy travel schedule. He is a very strong-minded, very special, smart boy. He is independent and opinionated and knows exactly what he wants. Sometimes I call him Little Donald. He is a mixture of us in looks, but his personality is why I call him Little Donald, Melania told Parenting.com. Donald has described his wife as an incredible mother. She loves her son, Barrett, so much and I have to say, she will make an unbelievable first lady, he said prior to his election. 20. She was the subject of a creepy call with Howard Stern in 1999, when her husband was running for president of the Reform Party. Melania took part in the sexually charged conversation live on air with shock jock Howard Stern. The DJ had been chatting to Donald when the conversation turned to Melania. Let me talk to that broad in your bed, Stern said. Melania, apparently scandally clad and conveniently sitting nearby was summoned to the phone, Mother Jones reports, adding, with Stern using his creepiest charm, things rapidly got weird. Stern insisted the former model should put on your hottest outfit for a night out with him and Donald and then asked her what she was wearing. Uh, not much, she replied. Are you naked? Are you nude? Stern said. Almost, Melania said. Ah, uh, H, I've got my pants off already, replied Stern. 21. She thinks people should be nicer to one another in a rare campaign speech just five days before the election. Melania outlined her vision for what her role would be in the White House if she were to become First Lady, saying she would work to combat a culture on social media that has become too mean and too tough and which is filled with insults based on looks and intelligence. But as CNN reports, she didn't make any mention of the Twitter activities of her husband, Donald Trump, who has relentlessly attacked his political foes, journalists critics and other entertainers for years with demeaning comments based on their appearances and intelligence. Melania, 
giving her first solo speech since the Republican convention, added, It is never okay when a 12-year-old girl or boy is mocked, bullied or attacked. It is terrible when it happens on the playground, and it is absolutely unacceptable when it is done by someone with no name hiding on the internet. We have to find the better way to talk to each other. Lady Gaga led a chorus of critics who say Melania decrying bullying is pure hypocrisy. 22. Comedians love her Melania has become top fodder for shows such as Saturday Night Live, in which she has been impersonated by Cecily Strong for a sketch called Melania Moments. After she was accused of plagiarizing Michelle Obama's address from the 2008 Democratic Convention, Melania was also spoofed by actor Laura Benanti on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. The Broadway star did an uncanny impression of Melania's Republican National Convention speech, switching her words for familiar lines from Braveheart, Dr. Seuss, The Beastie Boys and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is truly the best of times, it is the worst of times, she says, mimicking the former model. I did not plagiarize my speech last night. I would never do such a thing. I would not, could not, with a goat. I would not, could not, on a boat. U.S. talk show host Jimmy Kimmel also got in on the act, imagining a conversation between Melania and former President Bill Clinton when they met ahead of the first presidential debate between their two spouses. 23. She owns a jewelry and skincare line in 2010. Melania launched the jewelry collection on shopping channel QVC. Although the collection sold out in 45 minutes, the Kansas City Star notes that her first caller was her own husband, Donald. QVC is understood to no longer be in partnership with Melania Trump, but Forbes says the line is still making money for the Trumps. Forbes adds that she launched the line of skincare using French sturgeon eggs in 2013. Melania marks skincare made between $100,000 and $1 million in 2014. 24. She was surprised by her husband's lewd comments. Melania has defended Donald over the 2005 tape in which he makes lewd comments about women. The president-elect faced allegations of sexual misconduct after he admitted trying to f asterisk 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 the married woman and claimed being a TV star meant you can do anything to women because they let you do it. Grab them by the p asterisk 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 asterisk, he says in the Access Hollywood recording. You can do anything. In her first interview after the tape was released, Melania told CNN she was surprised by her husband's language but claimed he had been egged on by NBC host Billy Bush to say dirty and bad stuff. I said to my husband that, you know, the language was inappropriate. It's not acceptable. And I was surprised, because that is not the man that I know, she said. Melania dismissed the comments as boy talk saying, I accept his apology. I hope the American people will accept it as well. And it was many, many years ago. Nor would she describe her husband's claims as sexual assault, she said, no, that's not sexual assault. He didn't say he did it. 25. She discussed parenting with Michelle Obama while Donald met Barack Obama to discuss the smooth transition of presidential power in the White House following the election. Michelle Obama showed her successor around the building that will be home from January. Michelle apparently gave Melania the tour of her new living quarters and the two women discussed the unique demands of raising a family in the White House. The First Lady was pleased to extend that courtesy to Mrs. Trump and enjoyed the opportunity that she had to visit with her today, Press Secretary Josh Ernest said. They also had a discussion about raising kids. Obviously the First Lady's two daughters spent their formative years of their childhood at the White House and Mrs. Trump's son will also spend some important years of his childhood here he added. That's a rather unique childhood and the two women had an opportunity to talk about that experience and being a good parent through that experience. One. Melania has post-nude.